So, how did I become a web developer? That wasn't very smooth. I was 18, so I just finished my A-levels and I was working semi-part-time, semi-full-time at Halfords. King, it was never going to be a long-term thing. And then because I always had an interest in computers and things like that, I thought you know, I'd probably end up in a job in IT. Um, I did IT and media studies as part of my A-levels. And then um, just by chance, really, I met someone um, who is a dear friend of mine now, Patrick. Um, I met him at a barbecue just with some of the guys from work. And we started talking and he uh, basically ended up teaching me the basics and getting me getting me involved in the in the world of web design really yeah you know, if it wasn't for Patrick I don't think I would have got to where I am now really um, skip forward a few months I was talking to my mum and she she knew someone a friend that um, her name was Liz and she said go speak to Liz um, maybe Liz might be able to help you and so I went and saw Liz and it turned out that Liz knew of a company down the road from my house two minutes walk a PR agency and she said let me set you up with uh, set a meeting up with you and the owner Chris Chris got in contact with me after a recommendation from Liz and I went in and I saw Chris and we we just spoke for about an hour he asked me lots of questions about what I wanted to do um, where I was going um, my interests skill set and then about two weeks later, I got an email from Chris again, and he said, why don't you come in and have another meeting with me? And so I went in and I saw Chris, and we sat down, and out of the blue, he just says to me, if you start a company, I will go in 50% with you, and we will have, we, we will start our own business. I wanted to get out of Halfords, so I grasped that opportunity, and I took it. One of the things that is important is that I was doing something that I wanted to do. Now I was very fortunate, I was very lucky, but in order to get to that stage where I was able to even get that kind of opportunity, I had to do two things. I had to persevere and I had to believe in myself. Now the perseverance side came from having a very, very vast knowledge gap in something that I wanted to get into. So the only way to close that, that gap was to learn. So I had to self-teach. And one of the greatest things that I am proud of in my life is I was able to, over the course of a few years, teach myself to a, quite a strong standard how to code. If you have an idea try and do it there is a lot of help online you can google anything if you know how to google you will get very far if you can immerse yourself in that world spend a little bit of extra time just reading articles watching screencasts you very quickly pick up an understanding and the terminology and the best practices and how people do things and that's what I did after eight months we dissolved the company and I went in and worked at the PR agency and that was Barclay PR and that is where I worked that's where I still work now there are a lot of websites where you can teach yourself if it's something you want to get into I think at schools now they they actually teach web entry level HTML and CSS you can sign up on a website called Code School I think it's $29 a month and there are video tutorials and everything on there that's one thing but I didn't pay I didn't have money to pay for all these courses and tutorials I googled I had a few trusted sources and I just put the work in I just built things just build websites that really is the best way to do it if you just build things then you've got the basis to learn 
you've got something where you can practice on. If anyone has any questions or, or wants me to put some, give some ideas about the setup and how you can learn uh, what tools you need, you know, the software, the things like that, I can, you know, I can do a video based on my setup there and, and what I do and how I, how I, how I learn things. But you can do an awful lot yourself with a few pointers. You can, you can really, you can make your own career. So I'm in a small elite group of people at Barclay that didn't go to uni and it was one of the best decisions I made.